here at Cox's Lock on our canal photo shoot and Cox's Lock is part of the way navigation system in Surrey. Um, the way goes off about 19 miles but what we're photographing is some of the buildings. We're going to separate some of the buildings, the buildings all together using a, a wide angle lens. I've got a, one on at the moment which is 9mm to 14mm so it's a very wide angle lens. The canal itself is uh, uh, runs from right away from Byfleet through Weybridge, Addison. But I want to show you just a few different ways of photographing some architecture by the edge of the canal. And this I thought was would be a really lovely place. And as a bonus, we've got a boat coming up. Whether the boat's going to go through the lock or not, I don't know. But we'll have a little walk around the uh, around the buildings, and uh, I'll show you what to look for when you're taking some photos. So. Let's have a look. So As you can see here, there's different ways in which you can photograph the canal or architecture. Maybe you live by a lake or a river with interesting buildings by it. So for this shot I would use quite a wide angle lens on here to get both the buildings in. <clears throat> now this used to produce flour many years ago but there's a lot of new apartments and that here now so it's changed since the 80s. But the Millpool itself is beautiful, the clouds are lovely. So if you live near a river or canal take a look at the clouds, include the clouds in the photos if you can get the right day. A clear blue sky is quite boring really, but today as you can see for photography this is absolutely superb. This building here, you could take that as an individual shot. Turn the camera horizontally. You'll take a shot like that with a wide angle lens, turn it around completely, and separate the building from the rest of them, or include the whole the whole lot. Nice long exposure shot with this waterfall would look nice coming off the weir. You need a tripod for that, but we'll come back another day and we'll do a nice long exposure shot and I'll show you how to do it. Always helps if you can get some weather forecast before you go out and shoot. 
But this is a lovely part of the canal in England. And the sun's, uh, it's coming in and out all day today, so you want to be careful a little bit with your exposures. Sometimes you might have to underexpose a little bit. What you don't want, you see where the clouds are, you want to make sure you get detail in those clouds. If they're too white, it's known as blown out highlights. And if they're very white, you can't do anything with them. So check the exposure on your camera to make sure you get the details and colors in the clouds. There's quite a few people here today, but I don't blame them. But it is a lovely place. It's really, really nice. And then just down there is the railway bridge. So this is Cox's Lock then and what we're going to do, we're going to go to another canal and we're going to have a look at that as well. But if you want to come here, just come to Weybridge have a walk along the canal and take some photos of this place.
So that was the, uh, the canal walk that we've done today from Cox's Lock in Weybridge and this part of the canal is uh, in Byfleet not far from Woking. So look for some flowers along the edge of the canals, look for some nice architecture. Most of all make sure that you're telling a story. Use the flowers or anything like that for some simple composition shots. People in boats, people by the edge enjoying themselves. There's so much to take by the edge of the water, whether it's a lake, a river or canal, whatever it is. But again, today was simply a visual idea to help you with your photography, hopefully. Give you some inspiration. And as the channels go on, we'll go into a little bit more depth into the photography side of it. At the moment, it's just showing what's possible and what you can do with your camera. If you've got, if you've got different lenses, try those too. Try to change your compositions again with wide angle lenses, 50 millimeter lenses, and most of all, enjoy it. If you've got any questions, don't hesitate to get back to me. Hit that subscribe button on the left hand side down the bottom, and I'm gonna catch you again very soon. Bye-bye.